Right, this demonstration will show you how to draw an inscribed square in a circle. What you're trying to do is basically draw a perfect square inside this circle. And if you've seen my first demo on how to find the center of a circle, you will, if you haven't seen it, you will need to watch that before you can draw the inscribed square. What I've got here, first of all, is basically I've, I've drawn a chord to find the center of a circle and the, I've bisected that chord using a perpendicular bisector and the tools I've used are basically a compass and a set square to draw straight lines with. So I drew the chord first, bisected the chord and when I bisected that chord I, I was left with the diameter of the circle and what I did there again is bisect the diameter of the circle such that I was left with the center of the circle another almost another diameter as it passes through the center of the circle and the point where they cross is my center of the circle and this is what it's left me with a perfect divisions of the circle in in, into four equal parts. Now what I'm going to do is remove my chord first of all. What you will need to do is look at my demo on how to find the center of a circle before you can uh, draw the inscribed square inside that circle. I'm going to remove my chord as I don't need, need that anymore. What we have because we have four divisions of the circle, we have a perfect uh, quarters within this circle. What we need to do now is take a set square or a ruler and position it such that we can literally draw a line from one point there, that's on the circumference of the circle, to, the, to another. And this will literally give us a square and it's one of the simplest approach to drawing a square that I know of. So what I'm going to do is select my pen tool and this will give us one of the edges to our square, to our inscribed square and what I'm going to do is move my set square along to the other side and draw another line across. Just going to rotate my set square along such that I can draw you may find it a bit better as I'm drawing this in, on software it's quite difficult to uh, actually get the correct points in so let me just move that set square in slightly and I think because I've got snap to grid on it makes it that much more difficult for me to move the set, set square in however we can see our inscribed square coming along nicely We've got our three edges pre-drawn and I'm about to do, draw our last edge. Get in there. Let's get a bit closer to the edge. Here's the pen. Okay. Now we have here a perfect square inside our circle, an inscribed square. So each each edge across there is exactly the same length. And we have our inscribed square inside the circle. Try to watch the first demo before you attempt this. However, there are other different methods to drawing an inscribed square inside a circle and they're slightly more involved and I believe 
this is the most simplest and is the easiest approach in drawing the inscribed square. You can draw other polygons, ins inscribed polygons such as a triangle, uh, pentagon, hexagon within a circle using similar concept, just a ruler and a compass.